No matter how much you prepare for a baby physically, mentally, or emotionally, once your little bundle of joy arrives, all you can do as a new parent is expect the unexpected. Naturally, you must be prepared. In the case of the Michigan couple, Matthew and Nicole Smith were in for a huge surprise in the delivery room, and they weren't the only ones who were shocked by what happened. Doctors were baffled by what they discovered after the delivery. She was pregnant in September 2017. Nicole received the most exciting news of her life. She was pregnant and expecting her first child. The mom-to-be couldn't wait to share this great news with her husband and love of her life, Matthew. But she didn't want to just tell him the news during a conversation that was considered normal. This was going to change both of their lives. So she decided to do something nice and special to surprise him. Share the wonderful news. Even if you are trying for a baby but that positive pregnancy test result is a very surprising moment. Nicole was overjoyed when she found out that she was pregnant and wanted Matthew to be as surprised as she was. She couldn't wait to share the news with Matthew and celebrate together over Labor Day weekend. So she bought a little surprise gift to give him the news, Nicole's big reveal. Nicole is very excited about her big reveal and couldn't wait to give Matthew his surprise gift. And Matthew was just as happy as Nicole when she shared the news. She gave me a t-shirt that said best dad in the world and that's how I found out, he enthusiastically shared. As you can imagine, they were both thrilled not knowing that this was just the first surprise of many to come. Hardly able to believe that there were going to be parents in just a few months, Nicole found out that she was pregnant quite late. Her due date was January 30th, 2018 and the parents-to-be only had five months to prepare for their baby. But this wasn't the only news that the couple would find out late about their baby. Very soon, they would be faced with news that no one saw coming. Getting closer and closer to the big day, with the vacations just around the corner and with a new baby on the way, the couple had a lot to celebrate, with just a few weeks left until Nicole and Matthew welcomed their new baby into the world. With the purchase of a crib, a baby seat, and adorable baby clothes, they were fully prepared and couldn't wait for that special day to arrive. Although that wasn't all the couple prepared, the birth plan, in addition to buying all the essentials and preparing their home for the arrival of their newborn, Matthew and Nicole were also prepared in another way. They were finalizing the details of the birth plan. They wanted to do everything they could to get away from doctors and hospitals as much as possible and have a natural birth in their own home. They found a midwife to help them with the process and the delivery. Christmas Sickness at Christmas, Nicole started feeling sick. She suddenly had the flu and didn't eat or sleep for a couple of days straight. Although the flu wasn't the only thing they had to worry about, not only did she feel sick, tired, and unable to eat, but Nicole also had severe stomach pains. It wasn't until a couple of days later that she realized what was really going on with her body. Her water broke and the mother-to-be was not feeling well and as time went on, she was not getting any better. She was worried and fearful that something was wrong. One day when she woke up in the middle of the night, she finally understood what was happening. On Friday, December 29th at 2.30 in the morning, her water broke. We were 4.5 weeks early as we were due January 30th, so we immediately called our midwife, recalls Matthew. Contractions. It turned out that the pain Nicole had been feeling for a couple of days was not just related to her normal flu. Her water had broken and this time experiencing contractions as she was almost 36 weeks pregnant, the midwife advised the couple to go to the hospital as a home birth was not safe for the baby. Nicole and Matthew had to act quickly and decided on a hospital that wasn't necessarily the closest. You will never really be ready. The thing about childbirth is that no matter how many stories you have heard, videos you have seen, or books you have read about it, you will never really be ready to have children. One of the hardest parts of pregnancy is definitely the actual delivery itself. You don't know what to expect. Sometimes your body ends up being what it wants, and you can't really know what's going to happen. Gerbert Memorial Hospital, Matthew and Nicole decided to go to Gerbert Memorial Fremont Hospital, which was a two-hour drive from their home. It is a hospital that worked well with their midwife and could accommodate their preference to have as natural a birth as possible. After all, they had already had to completely change their birth plan. They quickly grabbed their hospital bag and prepared to leave as quickly as possible to deal with the situation, but unfortunately the weather was not going to make things any easier for the parents to be. Finally, at the hospital, I don't know if anyone remembers that horrible Thursday night into Friday, 
But along the lake shore, there was a total blizzard. First, I had to shovel snow and drop the whole driveway because we got 20 centimeters of snow. Then we drove almost two hours to Fremont in the middle of the blizzard. It was total insanity. The couple didn't get to the hospital until 4 a.m. By the time they arrived, Nicole's contractions were getting stronger, recalls Matthew. A familiar face. Nicole and Matthew's night got off to a rocky start, but luckily they finally received good news. Once the couple settled into their room, a familiar face greeted them. Someone close to them was working at the hospital at the same time as Nicole and Matthew. It was Nicole's brother, Raymond. He was covering the hospital even though he normally never worked there, but Nicole's brother wasn't the only familiar face who ended up working at the hospital that day. Other familiar faces during his stay at the hospital. Raymond was able to stop by and see them regularly during his shift. Although it turned out that even before her brother arrived for his 7 a.m. shift, another family member was working at the hospital. During the night while Nicole was admitted, Raymond's wife Emily is a nurse at the hospital and was working the 7 to 7 shift and effectively was our nurse throughout the night, which was an amazing thing, Matthew recalls. The right place as his brother and his wife worked at the hospital that night. Nicole and Matthew knew right away that she was in the right place, but although the couple got to the hospital as fast as they could, after Nicole's water broke, the baby wasn't ready to come out. As the hours passed, the contractions became more painful and slowly Nicole began to dilate a little more. At this point, things were at their critical point. Labor pains. It was very hard for Nicole. Not only had she not really rested in over four days because she was sick with the flu, but she was also in immense pain from being in labor for hours. Nicole was determined to do it all naturally, but after more than 30 painful hours, the mom-to-be finally opted for pain medication and an epidural, hoping it would help speed up her labor. For the baby's safety, while Nicole was in labor, the medical professionals tried to do everything they could to make the birth as natural as possible, which included not doing any kind of scan or test to monitor the baby. But as the hours passed, Nicole's pains worsened and she agreed to have an ultrasound for the baby's safety. Luckily, everything seemed fine for the little one, at least with what they could see. Making changes to help Nicole cope with the contractions and the pain they were causing her, she agreed to have an epidural, even though it was not part of the original birth plan. After the epidural, Nicole continued to push for another two and a half hours, when the baby finally decided to show signs of stress. As Nicole was exhausted, the couple was willing to do whatever it took to get the baby out. So the doctor used a suction cup due to the high heart rate, but this was only the beginning. Labor hours. By now, Matthew and Nicole have been through a lot. At first, Nicole's water broke a month early. Then instead of a natural home birth, they had to drive two hours in the middle of the night through a snowstorm to get to the hospital. This just so poor Nicole wouldn't suffer through hours and hours of labor, but the couple was about to experience good fortune and in more ways than one. No one saw it coming. A beautiful daughter. Arriving at the hospital on Friday in the middle of the night, Matthew and Nicole welcomed their first child into the world on Saturday, December 30th, 2017 at 10.06 p.m. A 48-hour labor. They named their precious daughter Black Kelly Fright Seismer. But this sweet little baby girl weighed just 1,995 grams, which is about half the size of an average newborn. It was because she was born a month early. Nicole and Matthew were about to find out it's not over yet. The new parents were absolutely thrilled to have welcomed their first baby into the world. She was a real trooper, Matthew said. He was so proud of her for what she had been through and how she had dealt with the pain and everything else. With the birth of the baby, their wild ride was finally over, or so they thought at least. At that moment, what they didn't know was that there was still a surprise in store for them. Something impossible was happening. After Nicole gave birth to her adorable baby girl, all she had left was a tiny suture. As the obstetrician began working on the placenta, the medical team realized that something impossible was happening before their eyes. Something different was waiting for her. The doctors checked Nicole to make sure everything was okay, and that's when they realized there was not meant to be there something that no one is prepared for. When Nicole's doctor, Dr. Megan, reached in to check on her patient, she realized there was another head. There was still another baby inside. The couple was going to father not one but two babies. Surprised, Matthew and Nicole couldn't believe it and thought the doctor was joking, to which the doctor replied, I don't joke about these things. 
As he arrived at night expecting to take one baby home to find out that there were two, it was a big surprise. How could this happen, the new parents wondered. The second delivery of the night, after realizing Nicole was carrying another baby, the medical team quickly prepared for the second delivery of the night. The couple's family, still waiting outside the delivery room, had no idea what was going on. They wondered if everything was okay with Nicole and the baby as they could see people coming in and out of the room. By now, all the nurses and doctors were inside Nicole's room to make sure everything was going well. It was crazy, Matthew explained. A beautiful son having to deliver another baby, Nicole had to push again, the epidural was gone, this time it hurt like hell, but she made it, said Matthew exactly 59 minutes after his precious daughter Black Kelly Fright was born. The couple welcomed their son Cade Matthew into the world at 23.05 p.m. Finally, the couple was able to give birth and take their children home. They're the happiest parents in the world, say Nicole and Matthew. Blessings, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Your comments are welcome. Please post with your flag to let us know where you are watching from. Share and comment with your friends and family.